and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Tarek Draven. We are going to be uh, playing a real aggressive deck with our new champion, Tarek, and supporting Draven, putting these two together. And then you will again the gift itself. Gogon, that's very nice of you. Thank you, Santa Gogon. Passing on the hype. Nenuel definitely deserves that. All right, uh, but anyway, uh, what we're going to be doing here is we're going to have we're going to be real aggressive. We got lots of one drops. We got our nine one drops. Um, instead of going all the biggest fans, we got one saboteur instead of the third uh, biggest fan. And then at two mana, we're going to be going wide. Continue to go wide with House Spider. Also have a Shield Bear in here because this is a this is a good card even even in aggressive decks. Whenever you play this thing. Like, let's say you have the attack token turn two and you play Shield Bear and it's a 3-6. Your opponent's not blocking it. Like, you're getting your damage in. So, I like I like that. Um, and then at uh, three mana, of course, we have Crescent Guardian. Get that Nightfall Overwhelm with all of our one drops. We got our Draven. Um, you know, then we're going to Taric. We're going to Cato the Armed. We can support with the Overwhelm. Captain Fair into the top end. But then we got a lot of ways with Noxus to target our own things. So, Transfusion... Great spell, great protection, um, help us get more damage in. But it it works and doesn't work with Taric. It you know Taric, you have to be uh, copy the last spell that cast uh, that targeted only me. Transfusion is going to target two things, so it doesn't work with that. But Transfusion is targeting two units, so that's that's going to help Taric's level up by targeting two things. And Transfusion is pretty awesome whenever you attack with Taric and you give two things tough, so you don't even have to worry about the one damage because of the tough with Tarek. So that's pretty awesome there too. Vision is absolutely amazing with uh, Draven. We got a couple of visions in here to go with the Draven. Um, we don't really have any, you know, like I don't want to be cast hard casting Vision too much. We're just going with two of those. Might, of course, is wonderful with Tarek um, with having uh, the Might, the plus three, plus zero. Um, and then, yeah, you know, if we if we go Spinning Axe on Tarek, that's another, you know, Spinning Axe gives us another way to um target our own units and then we can um you know copy that spinning axe over to the next thing as well so let's give this a try this looks pretty sweet um we're gonna be getting aggressive here i guess i have one question about this if we go let's say we have Tarek in play and we have spinning axe discarding vision if i go spinning axe discard vision on Tarek. And then we go to the next, and then we copy it. We're not going to have spinning axe. We're not going to discard another vision, right? Like, it's not going to copy the vision. I wouldn't think it would. That would be incredible if it did, but I don't think it works like that. Because it shouldn't, should just do the other part. Shouldn't do any of the copy part. I would think. Hello. Ezreal Twisted Faint. Ezreal Twisted Fate does good at doing a little amount of damage, so I kind of want to mulligan this Precious Pet. But I'm not going to. Yeah, it shouldn't work like that. Is he here yet? Oh, man. My faith protects me. So, yep, they do a very good job of killing one health units. No surprise there. The Precious Pet would allow us to help turn on Nightfall. Which that's going to be important. So am I going Taric or do I go Precious Pet plus Crescent Guardian? I don't know. I'm not sure which one I'm supposed to do. The Pet Guardian is more aggressive. I'm gonna go Pet Guardian. 
Yeah, I we don't have any. Yeah, we wouldn't have any mana to buff Tarek or save him or anything like that. Let's let's go with these. We'll play Tarek on their turn. Yeah, I don't I don't usually play with a whole bunch of might. My beautiful face. Yeah, I'm not usually a huge fan of might, brother's bond, vision, those kind of cards. Because then I play a matchup like this where they just kill all my units and I'm just like, what what are we doing with Brothers Bond and Might and all these worthless cards? I'm ready to shine. Boys. I kinda wanna block that to be honest. And just not let them have a blocker. Uh, no, they can do one damage with one mana. But they kind of want to block with the Tarek and go spinning axe on Tarek. Um... Alright, so we play the Might, grow them up, now they're tough. They'll Cascade, they're still at three. Now they go to zero. All right, GG's. And yeah, we still have the transfusion for even more protection. Yeah, might with Tarek is pretty awesome. I don't usually like might, but if we're we're putting, you know, we get to cast a double might with Tarek. Now we talking. Now we talking. <laughs> that was pretty gross. All right, looks like we were playing against another Ezreal deck this time with Targon. Uh, that'll be interesting to see. I like the Shield Bear into Draven, turn two, turn three, and I think I keep Crescent Guardian as well to kind of have on turn four. Four. We have our nine one drops, so not too surprised we have a one drop here, but I wouldn't be too surprised if we have a one drop on turn four as well for the Crescent Guardian. I, of course, can have the Spinning Axe also. That can be, like, if we want, we can just play Spinning Axe. Uh, maybe we just go House Spider instead of Shield Bearer. Sure. <clears throat> it's basically put a 3-2 into play or a 2-2 with a 1-1. One, one. Spitting Axe can turn on the Nightfall. Uh, that doesn't seem like something I necessarily want to do. Sunlight guiding my brethren. Axes coming right up. The leave or burn. So sacrificing that one one to get the five damage in. Warms the heart and lights the way. 
Ouch. That was a perfect meteor shower. Got axes, need victims. Ouch. Back heretic. Yeah, that was perfect. That's all right. Not over yet. We still have a ton of punch left. Got another Captain Farron. Could definitely use a Tarek for this might. That deal four plus deal one. Man, what an awesome card with Ezreal, though, isn't it? Written in stars. That's, a mo that's an awesome Ezreal card. This is a mm, Unstoppable. I don't feel like I need a second Captain Farron, right? Now we're cooking. That's unlikely. Um, actually, I feel like we need to open... So the question was, do you, do you feel like you need to open attack more against Ezreal? Well, obviously here I don't have any other option, but... I feel like you actually want to open attack less against Ezreal. Right? Because Ezreal decks are built on spells. Decks that are built on spells and have all the spell mana and, you know, want to cast spells, you actually want to open attack less against them. You want to play... You want to sit back and play more units. Uh, first. And get more threats onto the board. Watch and learn. Dang, well, that's leveled up. They don't know what they're up against. Firing. So how are they stopping my Captain Baron? Targon has a burst speed, gain 5 life. How are they stopping Captain Farron? Do they just have enough burn to kill me? Dang. That hush is so good because now even if I want to might the Captain Farron, they can just re-hush. I guess unless they spend mana. Alright, so yeah. So they weren't, weren't going to be able to kill me. They're at six. I have the decimates. So they're dead to the decimates still. 
but they would have spent a little bit of mana on that. All right, we 2-0. That was close. But GG's. All right, now facing another aggro deck with Nocturne Nightfall. Um... I like the two drops. I kind of want a one drop. Thinking about mulliganing that shield bearer as well. Yeah, I'm gonna mulligan all that. Okay, that looks good. Get our one drop with our biggest fan. Make sure we get Draven on turn three. The party has arrived. arrived. Devotion to button. Is the one true light. Uh, gross. Daybreak cards do a good job of slowing you down. Both the one drop and the two drop, these Solaris. Um, maybe, yeah, gems would maybe do well in the deck, but I don't know if there's any gem cards that necessarily want to play. Like, Mentor the Stones would be the one that would probably be the most enticing. Um, yeah, men yeah Mentor the Stones would be the one that... Forced us to choose death or the blade. If we play one, I would want to play, but is it doing anything better than anything else? Unclear. Um. Yeah, I don't know what it would go in for. Like, maybe, like... I don't know. I don't know what it would really go in for. Because I think I want Crescent Guardian more than Mentor of the Stones. House Spider, like maybe play two House Spiders in one, but then House Spider is great with the vision. Temperamental as I don't know. No, there's no Arbiter of the Peak in here. Punish transgressions. You gotta rock with your name on it. This is gonna hurt for you. I want to draw Tarek. Tarek's cool. The Captain Farron did win us that game, but Captain Farron does look pretty awkward in this deck. Just so expensive. Like that should maybe be just a one of, not a two of. I could see them going Pale Cascade on the Crescent Guardian. Maybe. 
I like just attacking and having transfusion available more than playing the other house spider and attacking with that. If transfusion was vision, we would you know, be playing the house spider and having vision. Time for the money makers. No, I like Draven's biggest fan a lot. Like, being able to curve out with Draven's really nice. Um, you could, if you'd replace one of the one drops, I'd probably replace the Legion Saboteur. Maybe play a Mentor instead of a Saboteur. Hmm. I'll just pass. Keep my transfusion available instead of playing House this other House Spider with my last two mana, and then they decide to do the two mana drain one card and kill my Draven. So we can just play the House Spider the next turn. I know, right? We need a way to draw Taric. So, you know, these are the two cards they just grabbed. So if they play, this one's ephemeral, that one's not ephemeral. Gives that minus one, minus zero, and vulnerable. Even if I double transfusion, we don't save... Oh, wow. They did not... Not challenge the Draven, I guess, with the Spinning Axe. They're worried about that. bad. I think I'm supposed to just go to attacks before they play other blockers. I'm sorry, Tarek. I know you cool, though. So that's... Because, you know, they do have, like, the ephemeral unit, right? So, like, I play Tarek, they play an ephemeral blocker. Wish we could play Captain Fair in the next turn, not in two turns. All right, so this is a pair with these two, and this is a pair with these two. They've had these three cards for a while, but they haven't been playing. Okay, so that's... That means that, that was right there. That means this other one is another 5-3 Overwhelm. Alright, so we know they have a, an Ephemeral 5-3 Overwhelm, which that's not very good for me. Oh, the Might, if I would have had you last turn, then I definitely would have played Taric. I would have had you last turn. So basically, they're probably going to die next turn. Probably. That one was over here. Oh, so they have two more ephemerals? But I guess they can only play one. I'm surprised they don't lead with the ephemeral first and then play the real one afterwards. Hmm. No further. 
taken. No, I don't, Silky Mitts. I didn't cast my transfusion right away because I wanted to see what they would do. But maybe I should have. Yeah, Nocturne grants vulnerable, doesn't just give it for a turn. Vulnerable for good if you have the Nightfall Nocturne ability. Tis permanent. It's not like Sejuani that's just for the one turn. Admire me later. Nice, Sunny. There you go. Yeah, Lulu's a great champion. It's a good one to, to have, for sure. we move on. So I could just go Might Attack or we go Captain Farron first and then Might. It's gotta be worth it to play Captain Farron first, right? It's got to be. And then of course I want to Might the Taric. What once was uh, now is one. Alright, well maybe it wasn't. Maybe it wasn't. I Might Tarek support that thing. We're going transfusion. No, probably going might. Never submit. Cool. Did have eighteen. Power of Overwhelm Damage, plus we would have the Spinning Axe for a 19th. GG's. 3 and 0. Oh. Um... Sony has a good question, and I, I don't know the answer to that. I don't know the answer. It says, is there a place on Mobilitics where, when you're connected, that tallies up the cards you don't own? I can find, I can only find a filter that shows cards that you own zero of, so it doesn't include all of the cards I only own one or two of. I don't, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, another Nocturne Diana list. Let's keep this. And I guess we trade. I know we have transfusion, the card that makes trading not spectacular, but we'll have the shield bear and the draven and the Taric and the cat of the arm. So we are curving out. We're playing our invisible units, not letting them. Not letting them see what's going on. <laughs> Invisible units OP. You trespass on second huh? lands, unbeliever. You know not the meaning. Card looks pretty elusive. So wait, so like, is this like a meeting that's going on over here? And then this Lunari Shade Stalker is just like chilling. Oh, that's a meeting with the Sun People, and then she's a Moon person. Ooh, she's gonna get him.
each life a rare jewel. Night flowers upon my blade. Devotion through battle! Just debating on whether or not I want to play the spinning axe right now. Because, of course, we can give it to the plus one to both of these. I think I'm going to say down. no. I would probably discard House Fighter. That's what I would discard. You know, it's obviously going to be, it would obviously be one of the, the spooky spiders. You know not the meaning of sacred. We don't really need these spiders right now. Our last three draw steps have been spider, spider, spider. And it's Their sense a little unnecessary right now. <laughs> that one's ephemeral, so they have another onlooker. Coming in. If I don't block the onlookers, that's going to be 8, 10, 12 damage. That's a lot of damage. I guess we're blocking one onlooker with a shield breaker. Still have four mana as well. Hopefully they do not have Diana or Nocturne. Oh, that got a lot worse for me. No more hiding. That got a whole lot worse for me. Okay, I got a lot better now. Sure, whatever. Now we're cooking. Be better to block Nocturne. Let them actually keep this onlooker and you turn Nocturne into one around. health. And you do 12 damage to them next turn. You cannot sway me. That may make it easier to do 12 damage next turn. I don't think I'd want to develop the board and play any of these spiders. I, I really wish we would draw things besides the spiders. I want to draw Might. Ugh. This is just kind of unfortunate that we just drew all these little things. Because um, with them having Nocturne, if I play something, then they just... All they have to do is play a unit, and then that's quite bad for me. Axes coming right up. So this is going to be five... All right, so transfusion will level up, Tarek. It's time to shine. Probably go this round. Actually, unyielding. Fight no longer. Must we fight? Needed one. Needed another pump spell. Need another pump spell. Uh, the Nocturne wasn't leveled up until they attacked, right? So it wasn't. It wasn't like just play because Nocturne cares about you attacking with all these. So that's that's whenever Nocturne attacked. So it wasn't like if they played Nocturne first, then they would have gotten all of these abilities and they would have won. So this can do. Just like three damage. I mean, it's the thing to do. There is nowhere left to go but up.
Why did that cat of the arm just take damage? It says my support, my support ally can't take. Oh, that's got to be at the beginning of the support. That's got to happen. So they can't take damage or die this round. That's got to be at the beginning. You tried to blind me with resplendence. Yeah, unfortunately, our last four cards me. was definitely a close game. Our last four cards were all bricks. They were all just worthless. If we had one pump spell in our last four cards, that game was over. Like, we, we would have one if we would have had one pump spell, but we didn't. Which, that transfusion could keep us alive. So I want to I wanted to be able to play the Solari Soldier after, like if they play a unit first, then I play Solari Soldier. I wanted to hold on to this. I didn't really need to play all these things out, but whatever. Yeah, disappearing card bug. Slightly annoying. Okay, so we will make something be able to block here some. For the money makers. You can go block here some. You can stay alive. You can go over here. You can go over here. This is me losing a lot of my power with the cat of the arm going. Um, I would be able to. Okay, that's the first card. I say I could just take the onlooker damage, but it's pretty risky against a deck like this of taking two damage going to four, and they have like their drains and their pump effects. Because like, if, if that was like they have pale guardian, you know, they give the plus two plus one, and then if their last card is the 3-2 drain one. I could have lost. The 3-2 drain two, I mean. All me. And maybe those other guys. Oh, it looks like the last card was not the 3-2 drain two. Alright, and we were still able to get there. Yeah, because I guess they just didn't have a unit to play. They would have had a unit. You'd think they'd want to play that first. Looks like Nocturne plus Diana pretty popular right now. Very close game. Yep, very, very, very close. Uh, we'll keep our Solari Soldiers. Draven time. I want to play Draven's biggest fan on turn one. Turn two, be able to play Soldier, Soldier. Oh, wait. They both... They both don't get the daybreak. They both don't. They're not just three threes whenever you play them. Yeah, still, just probably play biggest fan into soldier. Maybe play the other soldier also. Only a fool would enter battle unprepared. Lunari, rise. Uh, does he do this? So let's see what they do, whether or not I'm playing the 2-2. Two -two. Like if they play like the 2-3 elusive, then we won't play our 2-2. Two -two. We'll see what they do. Bless the people and fear the heretics. 
Yeah, no reason to play the 2 2. That's because we could draw it. We have the three mana um, Nightfall 5 3 Overwhelm that we could draw that. And then on turn four, we get to play the Solari Soldier plus that card. That's a possibility. Um. Hmm. It's Draven time. I just don't do anything else if I play the the soldier. Again, this Captain Farron looks awkward. Considering playing like the spinning axe and then the whirling death and we level up Draven, that would be kind of cool. But we'll just save whirling death to be able to use in another combat to be able to... We'll just save all that. <laughs> Draven wants to axe them a question. Sense travels on the night air. Find your own light within the darkness. Yours is a light I cherish. Diana's at two. Night descends. Face your heretic. Arise in our time of need. So I'm playing Cattle, I don't have Transfusion and Whirling no Death, but I think lies. just Whirling Death should be good. I will be heard. Soon they're going Pale Cascade. Oh, Unspeakable Horror. Okay. Um... So that's going to level up Diana as well. So Diana will go to be a 3-3, and then this will have one damage on it, so it'll have two health. So if I transfusion, you hoping they'll die of boredom? Draven will still stay alive, right? Because, yeah, it's four total. That would be five total. So we could transfusion. Whirling Death just seems like the better thing to do, though. That keeps Diana from leveling up also. No mess for heretics. Now we're cooking. See so if they have a one mana, hopefully nothing. Hopefully this just all happens. Spinning axes have been very good. So now I'm going to need to use Transfusion to save the Cat of the Arm. Or we just like... 
basically kill them. We will resist. So I'm going down to 12. How much we damage how much damage are we looking at with this might? Nine damage. Really hope they don't have another one of the drained ones to kill Draven. Ooh, boo with a donation deck. Thank you, boo. Yeah, I mean, I, I said boot. If you're talking to me, Grace Claw. Alright, so they still have a bunch of cards in hand. This game is not over. Captain Farron just costs too much mana. We can never play this thing before the game ends. No, I know what you're talking about, Grace Call. I mean, you can see Boot, Boot's a mod here. He's been my longest subscriber, 48 months. That's my good friend, David. Boot is also a streamer as well. Well, that thing's scary. At least used to be. No more of your lies, Lunati. All right, another donation deck from Nenuel. A Trundle Aurelian Soul Ramp deck. All right. Uh, let's see if this is from. What if we go to one? The guilty were bad. Probably not good. It'll keep me alive through the three two drain two and the one the two mana drain one. I'll get I'll get used to these Doom Stalker, I think. Is the three drop. We'll get we'll get used to these card names eventually. I need to Keep getting used to them with the new card with the new cards. All right, Vision's pretty nice. This allows me to go Spinning Axe with Vision and also, I mean, heck, I can hard cast Vision and go Spinning Axe, discard Decimate, Spinning Axe, discard another Decimate. So we can get um, a lot of pump in here. I think I, I think I go Cattle the Arm on the Precious Pet, I think, question mark. Because if they have removal, they probably want to use like the removal on Draven. Okay. We'll see. I mean, this is this is gonna be the turn. This could be a 5-0. We are gonna be trying. That's it. That's the 5-0. 
Captain Farron always wins. Like I, like I've been talking about, that card's amazing. And you know, we should definitely not cut one. And maybe those other guys, whatever. Five O hype. Tarek. Draven. Awesome. I'd have to say that I was impressed with Vision. I did kind of want a third Vision. Deck originally had three. I took out one. But I was impressed with it as just a, a card that's great to discard with Spinning Axe. And we consistently have Draven more often than, than normal. Because not only are we mulliganing looking for a card like Draven. But then also having the two biggest fans. We're able to have more Dravens in there as well. How Spider is kind of... It was fine. You know, it, it did its thing. It wasn't amazing, but it's the kind of card that rewards you for playing cards like Vision. Gems would be kind of nice. Um, gems would be kind of nice. It would probably be the mentor, the, like maybe a, one mentor of the stones. I don't know. You already have like the two, three drops. I just don't, maybe you just don't really have room for that. Um, we could take out a saboteur i suppose for a mentor of the stones but it's it's really good having all of the one drops and everything like that i did kind of completely forget about pale cascade because we never do this card but that's that's another good pump spell so i now i now like this deck even more because we have pale cascade that card's awesome and i did did completely forget about us having that card to be honest um shards of the mountain Nah. No, I don't know. I liked it as is. I mean, that that is a card to think about. You know, if if you do have something that's that's really underperforming, you want a shard of the mountain. I'm I would not. I would not uh, say you can't play that card. But all right, there we go. Just all these other decks that are a little slower. Well, I don't know. We played against a lot of Nocturne decks. Those are not supposed to be slow decks, but we are just pretty fast and able to finish out a lot of games quickly and everything. Pretty good deck here. That's Tarek Draven. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Feel free to leave those comments as well. I would really appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching some Tarek Draven, and I'll see you for the next video.